Hi, everybody. <laughs> welcome, welcome. It's Sally Ella Horn here. How are you today? <laughs> it's hot here in Costa Rica today. <laughs> um, what I wanted to talk to you about today are affirmations. And why do I want to talk to you about that? Well, because the number one thing I hear my clients and friends and so on say is I've had the same affirmation for years <laughs> and it's not happened or I can't understand it. I do all my affirmations. I've got my goals and it's just not happening for me. <laughs> and it's a big frustration for people. And there's so much information out there that says that that's all you need to do. <laughs> but there's a little bit more to it than that. So that's what I want to talk to you about today. So, <laughs> yeah, just repeat your affirmation, set goals, and you'll manifest what you want, right? Uh, if only it was that simple. We'd all have the perfect life. We'd all have everything we want and need. <laughs> and we hear it so much. Write down your goals, do your affirmations, make a vision board, repeat, 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 and you'll get what you want. <laughs> Now, while these practices can be useful, when they are done in the correct way, they are pretty ineffective on their own. And this is because they don't address the fundamental fact. And that fact is, it doesn't matter what you ask for, if you don't believe it's possible, or you don't believe you deserve it, or and if your emotions are not aligned with that affirmation, with that goal, um, with whatever it is that you're asking for, it, it will be years before just repeating it will make it happen. And the idea here is that thinking something will make it happen. And, you know, I've talked about this before. What's more important are your emotions. Your emotions drive your thoughts. And thinking alone is often not enough. Just thinking won't make it happen if your feelings and your mood state are not agreeing, as they are the foundation for your thoughts. So I like to think of it like this. If thoughts are pebbles, then emotions are boulders. <laughs> Emotions and the moods that they create are boulders. So this means you need a lot of pebbles to move that boulder. <laughs> You'd have to throw a lot of pebbles at that boulder to shift it. But a boulder can easily shift a pebble. <laughs> so our thoughts are subject to our feelings. And you can imagine and visualize and repeat your affirmations all you want, but you need to make sure that your feelings are on board and in alignment. If not, your feelings can often create thoughts that are the opposite. Thoughts such as, don't be ridiculous. How are you going to do that? Are you mad? <laughs> All that sort of stuff. And I'm sure many of you have experienced this. How many of you have had the same goal affirmation for years? I, I know this happened to me and it's still not happened. <laughs> and this is what made me delve into all this deeper and into the mind power and to get to the root of what is it? What is the key here? <laughs> so sadly, what can happen when we're, we're doing all this and, the, and our affirmations aren't working and our goals aren't being realized is that we end up feeling disillusioned and then we change our goals and affirmations to stuff that's easier to achieve. Um, we can end up limiting ourselves. And there's a lot of practices out there as well that say your goals should just be a next step so if you want this you've got to do this next um, but this is rubbish and the most important thing is to focus on that goal on that vision 
It doesn't matter what you ask for. The only impossible dream is the one that you don't go for. So you don't want to end up limiting yourself. So what is the key? How do you do it? And I'm not saying that affirmations don't have any place at all, but they do when they're done correctly. <laughs> then, of course, they can be powerful. But you've got to get your feelings on board. You've got to get your feelings in line with that affirmation or with that goal. So how do you do it? <laughs> you've got to infuse the affirmation with a high vibration. And a high vibration comes from emotions. Emotions are vibrations. And your vibration is a reflection of your emotions. So to get into a high vibe state, as I like to call it, you need to be feeling those higher emotions, love, joy, gratitude, hope, etc. And you need to infuse that into that affirmation. Okay, so that's the first thing. Um, now, this, this might feel impossible, your affirmation, your goal, or, or uh, what will happen is your limiting beliefs will pop up. And, and your limiting beliefs, they drive your emotions. So you might have a little bit of a battle to start with. A good way to get around this is to imagine what it is like, what it will be like to achieve that goal, that affirmation, for, for it to manifest. So imagine, and it'll probably be an amazing feeling, a fantastic feeling, elation, joy, happiness, uh, gratitude again. So use that, focus on that, and then infuse that feeling into your affirmation. Okay, and it's also even more powerful if you can do it at the alpha level. So reducing your brain waves down from the beta level, which you're in most of the time during the day, to the alpha level, which is where we are when we meditate and the first stage when we go into hypnosis. So even more powerful if you do it at that level, because there you can reprogram your limiting uh, beliefs and blocks. So those are the two things that you really must do to give those affirmations the rocket fuel that they need. Go to the alpha level and infuse the affirmation with those really high vibrations. And if you get thoughts and feelings popping up that are negating it, that are going against it, then that's a good thing in a way. It's alerting you to those limitations that you've still got that are lurking underneath. So pull them out, take a look at them, write them down, assess them, where do they come from? And look at how you can change them around. What, what can you feel instead to make that the more dominant reaction, emotional response, rather than the negative reaction, which is obviously more dominant at the moment. Okay, <laughs> so that's just a quick one from me. From me, um, if you need any more help with this, then please um, please contact me. And if you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to my channel, and you'll get notified of the of the next videos. Um, so thank you for joining me. I hope you have a great day wherever you are, and I will see you again very soon. Love and empowerment. See you. <laughs>